Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Next in line for the report is John Redable. He already caught my attention in the second half of last season when he stepped up his game and played some really good matches in Ludwigsburg. But this season his role in the team is even bigger and he stepped up his game again and I believe there is a possibility that richer clubs will target him in this offseason. Offensively Redabo has a lot to offer. He's a versatile shooter that can make shots off the catch and off the bounce. I would not describe him as a pure shooter, but shooting is just a part of his game and he can bring good shooting percentages game after game. His percentages from all types of shots from different spots are very good this season and I'm confident that he's able to sing the shots with decent percentages at higher level too. His release is pretty high and smooth and he doesn't make any unnecessary moves in the shooting motion. Also the transition from the dribble into the shooting motion is fluid and it doesn't take a lot of time. With his quickness and handles he's able to create enough separation for the shot too. There is that around 25% of Red Bull's possessions this season were pick and roll. That's a big number and he's doing a good job when he's running those type of plays. What makes him so dangerous in pick and rolls is his ability to shoot, drive or pass the ball. He can do all three on high level and is basically a complete pick and roll player. It's hard to tell which of those is his biggest strength, but the defense needs to be prepared on everything. He's usually making good decisions and doesn't make many mistakes, which is another great sign. Redabo is not really a player that could run the offense all the time and is much better in the combo guard role or used as a secondary ball handler. He has some good court vision and passing game and can dish some assists, but I wouldn't trust him as my main playmaker. Very good and useful in drive and dish or drive and kick game where he draws the attention or out of pick and rolls where he is able to throw some sharp and precise passes. Let's say that he is very useful player that you love to have in your team and give him the ball when you need something to happen. Even though stats on Instat are showing that he's pretty bad in isolations and he scores only 0.72 points per possession in isolations this season, I would say that he passes my eye test. As said, he's an all-around offensive player and can create the advantage in isolation. At the moment he's not capitalizing the shots, but over years with more experience I'm sure that he'll be more efficient in those shots and that stats would also support my thesis that he's a good ISO player. It's no secret that Ludwigsburg spills their game out of aggressive defense and there are usually a lot of fast break opportunities. Redabo is very good on open court, he can use his athleticism and versatile scoring very well, capable of quickly bringing the ball to the basket or stop and take a shot with confidence and transition. Also loves to run without the ball and has a complete arsenal of weapons in his transition offense too. Moving on to the other side of the floor, Redabo can offer a lot on that side too. As mentioned before, Ludwigsburg plays aggressive defense on perimeter and Redabo plays an important role in that. He can play pesky defense on the ball handler and force him into mistakes. He isn't scared of contact and uses his body and hands very well. His lateral movements and reactions are great and he is a player that you can rely on in defense. Redabo can play very good pick and roll defense, but instead opponents score just 0.47 points per possessions this season when Redabo is defending them in pick and roll. He is again using his athleticism and body tools very well, but if you combine that with his footwork and the ability to find through screens and if you add to that that he is forcing opponents into tough shots, you get a player that offensive players don't want to face and play against. Redabo has great feel and instincts for steals. There is no surprise that he is amongst the best in this category in German BBL and in Basketball Champions League. Of course good team defense plays a big part in that, but Redabo is amongst the main perimeter defenders of Ludwigsburg and his role in defense is big. His hands are quick and also has a good eye to hand coordination to react quickly, intercepts a lot of passes too and usually those steals lead to easy points in transition. 
Another thing Radebo is really good at for a player his size and position is rebounding. He's active as a rebounder on both hands and averages more than 5 rebounds per game and had similar if not even better rebounding numbers throughout his career and I think he can bring this quality to any team or league. To sum up, there is really a lot to like in Jonah Redebo, starting from his offense where he can bring scoring punch on all levels while also being a player that doesn't look just for his points but can make some nice passes too, an all-around offensive player that can do a lot of the stuff very good but in my opinion he's even better in defense, his high motor and energy make life hard for most players that are facing him and Redebo is giving his best night after night. In my opinion, teams from top level will soon start falling and knocking on his door and he could be the next player from Ludwigsburg that will finish in Euroleague. And this is it for this time. If you liked the video, then hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. There will be more reports like this coming out in the next weeks and you don't want to miss them out. See you in the next video.